So if you've seen my latest video on Amazon, like a nonce monitor, you'll know that on the Fire TV devices, now you can no longer use a custom nonce. You have to put up with these poos big ads on the top and sometimes when you reboot the device, Amazon automatically promote these ads to you, which is not good. But as you can see, if I press the home button, give that a second, and that directs me to my custom non-serve folks. So in this video today, I will be showing you how to get custom nonces working once again on your device. I don't know how long this will last. And also as well, you might be putting your device at risk. So if you don't know what you're doing or you don't want to break something in case Amazon rolls out an update and for some reason your device is doing a boot noob or something um that is at your own risk so you need to bear that in mind folks so if you want to proceed with this let's get started Okay, so I'm on my second Sun Horizon Fire TV cube, but you can basically do this on any device running Fire OS 7 or more. To check which version of Fire OS you've got, all you have to do is go into your settings, down to My Fire TV. Click on the boat and where it says software version, as long as it says Fire OS 7 or more, it will work. If you run in Fire OS 5 or 6, this won't work on your device, unfortunately. The next thing we need to do is we need to go back into our settings. Push down to My Fire TV. Click on different pair options if you don't see it. So go up to about, select it, and tap where it says your Fire TV's name. Whether it's Fire TV, you Fire TV stick, or whatever. So tap it seven times till it says. No need, you're already a developer. Then push the back button. You'll see developer options. You need to enable ADB debugging as well for install unknown apps. Make sure you've got downloader installed free from the Amazon App Store and make sure it is on for install unknown apps. The next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our home screen and launch downloader. In downloader, we're gonna tap up, select, and we're gonna type in the six digit code of what was up on the screen right now. So you should have a two six four seven six. So that's A two six four seven six. Once you type that in, press the play button, and now we'll redirect you to my downloads page. Here we are. So let's go down 
it's in the section called nuances okay and then you're looking for this here custom nonza fire tv new method 2024 you want to send in there and they will redirect you to tiktok the uk's website which if you haven't already subscribed to his youtube channel guys he's a very good youtuber if you're into amazon fire sticks and amazon ytv his channel is in the description so give him a subscribe guys because he really deserves it anyway once you're on this page scroll down you see software down near your nook so the software we need is called rm mini which is basic the menu version of norms and money so. so if we click on rm mini so we want this top one there we don't want the android tv version we want the mini version so, if we get our circle on that, no send the ads. You'll be in there. Scroll down, turn the download button. Click on that. And then let's install. Right, done. Right, you need to delete this APK file because it will take up space on your device. Okay, now we press back and download a custom Nonza. So in my instance, I'm gonna download Wolf Nonza. Scroll down, click on download. Click on install. Click on none. The Nina APK file to save space on our device. Press the home button. Now the next thing we need to do is to find the IP address of our device because we need to make a connection from a other Android device, whether it be a tablet phone, even an Android box, if you have one of those. So to find the IP address of your device, all you need to do is to go into your settings, post down to My Fire TV, go up to About. Down to network and then where it says IP address, you need to write your IP address down. Don't write mine down, write yours down. Then on our other device, we need to open up the Play Store. Okay, so we open up the Play Store and we're looking for an app called ADB. So let's type that in, click on search. It's this up here, Remote ADB cell with the new icon. So tap on that and then store it on your device. Right, once ADB's installed, we need to open it up. Right, now we need to type our IP address of our device in there. So, in my instance, it's 192. So, it's that IP is best. So, once you've entered your IP is best, click on connect. Now, you make a, a pop up on your device asking you to know 
USB debugging. Make sure you tick the box where it says always an from this computer, then click OK. Right, once you're here, you need to type these two commands in. So for that, we need to open up our web browser up. And we're just going to type in here. This URL. So once you type the that Lincoln, click on the arrow to go to the address. You see my page again. So scroll down to launches and click on custom Fire TV to run it run it for. And then we need to scroll down to where we need to find the commands. Here we are. So we need to type these two commands in ADB. So the way to do that is to be highlighting them. So here's the first command. So if I Copy that. So now in the first command. So if I go back into ADB, and then paste that command in, click on the sec mark, and that's now gone in. So if we add back to our web browser, copy the second command in. This is this, so if we copy that, paste it in ADB, the on tick, and that's now being added. So if we press the back button and close ADB, and that's it, we don't need our phone or tablet anymore. Okay, now we can open up Norns and Manderson now. So if we go into our apps, find this icon here, this is Norns and Manderson. And we want to select our custom Norns. So go down to custom Norns. Select it, find our Norns. My instance. Wolf Nonza. So if we tap on that and then click on hand in the status inactive, that should now be active now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to reboot our device. The way we do that is we hold the play button and the select button at the same time so if we do that now we'll reboot our device and with a bit of nook it should boot into our custom launcher And see it boots in to our current nonza but in the few seconds it's booted up into wolf so here we are folks so if i go into an app like downloader if i press the home button you'll see the screen for a few seconds this is just basic they know the nub the nonsa and there we are folks so to prove it I'm not lying I'm not pressing any other button it is the home button that I'm pressing and that's going into all the nonsa what about 
some sleep if I non host a home run. Go down to sleep. Press on the button to wake it up. And that goes into wolf non supports. So now you are guys custom nonsense back on your device. I hope you like this video and if you did subscribe to my channel if you're new as well as give me a thumbs up on youtube that will help me out with the youtube algorithm also send the video as well guys so more people can see it and with that all being said have a great day and i'll see you in my next video